All right, I'm going to ask you uh, what you think is the most important and interesting emerging technology in your opinion? I think based on that presentation today, I really was fascinated by this concept of free energy. So whereas we're used to paying for energy and energy limiting you know, how much we can produce and who has access to it, this idea that anyone can produce it anywhere, I think that really changes uh, the equation for everything, for, for the way we live as well as uh, how we do business and who can profit from that. So if you are an investor, you want to invest to the energy company? I think if you're an investor, I think you know energy is a great place to invest today if it's oil and gas or if it's some other type of energy. So why wouldn't you invest in some new technology that's going to make energy less expensive and more accessible? So let's ask the other way. What is the most problem with energy these days? What do you think is the most the biggest problem with energy? Well, there are a number of problems. Uh, the cost of energy goes up for a lot of people in a lot of places. It's not accessible. If you live up in the mountains, you may not have electricity. Um, and so um, access to it, cost, those are a couple of the biggest things, but also pollution, the environmental effects. So if you can solve all three of those problems, then you've got a better product. So do you have any of clients like who, who is a green, doing a green energies in the services or? Sure, there are a lot of companies in clean tech and there are a lot of developments, inventions every day, you know, on how to improve. All right, cool. So what to prepare for your future? Like uh, they're saying, you know, we can live up to maybe thousand years later and then the future are coming. And then, uh, of course, there are a lot of dangers and uh, worries are coming for the individually also. So what do you prepare for yourself? Uh, you can't totally prepare for the future. So if one of the things I learned today is that you really have to embrace change. You really have to be ready to adapt to a different type of world. And the more that you understand the future, the more prepared you are for adapting in the present. And I think that's really the best you can do, is learn more about where you are today, what you need, where those resources are, and be willing to look for them in new places and uh, just, just respond to it more quickly. So as I know, this mastermind group, you guys are trying to consider your futures and the future of society, future of technologies or services, you know, any kind of future things, as I heard from Thomas. And uh, do you think this kind of discussions and a seminar helps you to get, you know, think of any future things? Yeah, definitely. You know, the more you talk about what the future can look like, uh, the more you can learn from it. The more it gets your brain thinking, the more you uh, are positive about what the future might bring, and it makes you want to figure out how to apply it more quickly. So I think having these kind of seminars everywhere is a good idea. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for your interview. Thank My you. pleasure.